Well, hello there. Jeff Castle here, the president of the School Bus Safety Company. Today I'm going to talk to you about crossing gates, the gates we have at the front of the bus, but my question is, why don't all school buses have them? Crossing gates are there to keep the students away from the front of the bus so the driver can see them. Children are small and they can hide beneath their vision. The industry started adding crossing gates in high volumes in 2010, and the question is, do they work? Well, there were 22 front of the bus fatalities in the six years from 2004 to 2010. That's an average of almost four children killed each year. That's 22 young lives lost, an average of four each year. 22 families devastated. Well, in the next seven years, from 2010 to 2016, there were eight front of the bus child fatalities, an average of 1.3 a year. That's 22 reduced to eight, a 64% reduction. Well, what else changed to prevent front of the bus child fatalities? I don't know of anything. So, I truly believe they do work and every school bus should use crossing gates. If you don't use them, please plan to so do. Remember, young children are not careless, they are carefree. We need to keep them where we can see them. Hence, the crossing gate keeps them in the driver's vision. For this reason, we have given away almost 5,000 copies of our Danger Zones driver training program. If you do not have this and want a free copy, go to our website at www.schoolbussafetyco and ask for your free copy. You know, everyone I have met working in the school bus industry really cares about the kids we transport. Using crossing gates on every bus turns care into action. So please, fit crossing gates, use them. Thank you and watch out for next month's blog.